Hi everybody, this is Pam from the Paper Outpost and want to have some fun playing with some book pages today? Let's get to it! Today I made a journaling card using a collage technique. Uh, the design is supposed to look like a mountain scene with uh, I guess a lake or some ground in front of it with a little sticker cross there in the corner. And I sewed around the edges of this just to give it some good adherence around the edges. Uh, you don't need to do that and you can totally do this just gluing. And I put a piece of crossword uh, puzzle page on the back with the word awareness just for fun and uh, as a prompt and let's get to it. Let's make one of these. Okay, so these are fun and easy to make. I used some junk mail, which is awesome. And uh, I use that as my cardstock um, base. So we have something that'll give it a little bit of thickness because some of my book pages are super duper thin. So, okay, let me move you just a smidge or closer. Okay, you still good? Okay. All right, so, all right, here we have our background, and the first thing, the idea with this is you're basically gonna, um, I didn't adhere to this perfectly, but basically lighter uh, to darker. So your darker items, this is not hard design concept or art concept, this is basically the things that are closest to you uh, have most definition and are generally darker, and then as things fade off into the distance, they're lighter and airier and um, uh, less busyness, less fine detail is noted by the eye. So that's not a hard fast rule, that's just uh, kind of how I think of it in my head. Okay, so let's get to this. First of all, we, we want to put a background. Now this one I used the top of a crossword puzzle page and I just glued it down here. But this time, since you've seen that, I'm going to use some white pages as the background. Okay, now these, I don't have a lot of white here to work with, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll show you how we get around that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this down. And I'm using this glue today. This is a really great glue recommended by Jessica Rapp. And I got some and I gave it a go and I'm really happy with it. It's very strong glue stick. You don't have to use this. You can use a regular glue stick. Um, just double check everything's sticking nice. Okay, and I would recommend going over the edges just a little bit because we're going to trim all this down as we go so you can get a good idea of your actual frame. Uh, but you want to make sure you cover your edges. So there we go. And as you can see, I've been trimming. Yes, there's my gluey scissors. Um, it happens. Okay, so um, snipperoo. Okay. All right, this was an experiment. Don't look at the back. That was one. Okay, I did a video a second ago. And I'm like, I don't like this. So I'm redoing it. So okay, you're gonna see that like a million times. Okay, there. There is our background. All right, so now we're advancing uh, the background closer to us. So I guess we're getting closer to the background is a better way to say it. Um, I'm going to put, um, no, I think that's actually enough, enough white. I'm going to leave that. Um, actually, no, because I can see the, the, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the words through. So I am going to throw down one more piece, but okay. I have this and I'm just going to do something like this. Okay. So not very technical, but we're going to give it a go. All right. Putting the glue down. And I think what I'm going to do, so I don't have a hard edge at the top, I should have torn it first, um, is I'm going to tear the top. Oop. So it's going to give the illusion, or I'd like to think it's going to give the illusion of some little wispy clouds. Okay. And actually to emphasize illusion of wispy clouds, we can do a very slight, um, very light blue little hintaroo here with the ink. Okay, of course, this is coming out green and brown because I've mixed them, but you know what I mean. Okay, so, um, okay, so I'm going to do that. And these could even be distant mountains in the back, you know, maybe they're just, they're just whited out because uh, they're so far away. Yeah, that's my story. Okay. All right, just trimming this down so we can keep the framage in mind what we're doing here. Okay, we have that. It almost looks like an ocean wave too, or grass blowing in the wind. Just gotta use your imagination. Okay, so we put this guy in eye shot so we can see which papers we used. Now, we don't have to use the same papers. There are no rules. There are no rules. Okay, and actually we're not. We're going to, you've already seen that. I wanna show you something new. Okay, so how about, that's a nice paper. We've got some Edith Holden. And let's see, you're kind of good. That's a good contrast. I like that. Okay, let me try this. Okay. I'll try this. This is a very thin, brittle page that, you know, I, I do need to glue this down to something so it can have some structure behind it. And let's see, let's, let's go like, let's 
sparkle like that. Okay, now this one, I am going to edge in a little bit of walnut stain. Yeah, walnut stain. Okay, and uh, it's just going to give me a, a little bit of definition on the edges so I can see my little, my little low hills in the back. Um, maybe I'm going to give you a little more of a, a hill face. Okay, I give you hill face. You have hill face. <laughs> what is that? Nobody knows. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to do that. That's going to be my first little mountain. I don't really have to worry about the bottom because the bottom's going to get all covered up. And I'm going to glue it down. It's a little tricky with the glue here because it's such a thin paper. But hey, if I can do it, you can do it. There we go. All right. There we go. Okay. First little mountain. Okay. And let's do a second little mountain. And I'm going to use the same paper. Let me move this guy. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Maybe this mountain. He's going to look more like, like that. Now I'm going to edge him out. Mm, okay, do you look all right? Okay, that's all right. We'll give you a little dobby do and see how we do. And the nice thing about, see how you can show your mountains like layering against each other, which is kind of cool. If you get their edges defined well, that's the key. All right, so this is a lower one and he's living over here. So now, okay. All right, there we go. Uh, now we're gonna stick that baby down. The lower one beside him. Okay. Oh man, th things happen, you know? Okay, there we go. We're down. Whew. Okay. All right. We'll just put you over here. We don't know what to do with you. Okay. Um, all right. So let's just trim so we get visual again. Now you can see how these get stuck here. See it live in action as it happens. Okay. So now we have two and let's go for another layer. We're going deep. We're going deep. Okay. So um, this time I think I'm going to use some Edith Holden, but put these up closer and uh, okay. So maybe I'm going to make some rolling hills. Let's see how these go. All right. Rolling with Edith. Here we go. Rolling hills with Edith. Okay. So you've got some contrast font size there, color difference, things are showing up. Now let's give it the old inker, inkeroo to get that nice contrast. You could use different shades. You could use uh, something with, you know, uh, a green in it or something like that would look really cool. Now I'm going to try and purposefully ink these up a little darker just so they show even more because they, we're getting closer to the front. Okay. I like that. Okay. Let's go for that. And we're gluing and we're, oh man, this stuff is like, like, I don't know, paste, paste in the tube. That, that is pretty awesome. Actually, that's very strong. Um, okay. Now I'm just making sure I have all the bottoms covered that were torn. Okay. So I have this. Now I'm going to do my little cut with my gluey scissors. Probably want to wash your scissors right away after this because they will get gluey. Okay. All right. So we have that. Okay. So now, um, now I didn't, I, I layered these, see how I did that. Um, but here I think I'm going to create, I have this page and it has some darker pieces on it. It's just a page from a magazine or, a, um, some kind of, um, history page, but, uh, let's see what colors do I like. That's, that's kind of cool in there. This darkness is cool. Let's go for this midtone, and I'm going to pretend, I don't know. I'm going to pretend this is water. It's a chandelier, but nobody has to know that, right? What chandelier? I don't see a chandelier. I see water. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Do like a lakey like kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. So let's, uh, maybe let's outline this in blue because this is Gimme blue. Oh, geez, that's really dark. Did I mean, oh, Christ, I'm using the wrong one. Whoopsie. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, darn it. That's what I mean. Darn it. <laughs> okay, this one's the blue. This one's the blue. Okay. Okay, let's get a little blue on there. And if it's green, it could be a meadow. Could totally be a meadow. Okay, there we go. 
All right, there we go. Okay, that's that's kind of neat. Okay, let's go with that. Um, all right, we're gonna glue. We're gluing. Okay. Oh, so sticky, but in a good way. All right, so we're putting down our. We're gonna call that a lake. Okay, there's our lake, and we trim. All right. Okay. I just get that little sniver, a little snivel, snivel, sniver off there. Okay. Okay. I can make you bluer. Look at that. Look at oh, what a lake. What a lake. Okay. I know how the bottom complements the little top, so we have like ultimate design happiness there. Okay. Um, now for the end finale, the big, the big, the big shoe. We're going to put some nice dark areas that maybe almost mimic a little smile or a C shape to give the shape of the lake and also finish the foreground design. So I'm just continuing on in a magazine page or a book page here with a something I need some darker color. Okay, I'll just hit you, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, okay, so that's good. Let's carve out our little lake shape. Carving, carving carving all right yeah something like that okay and this could actually even be more hills and stuff it doesn't really have to be anything of any you know purpose just uh kind of the way i did it okay so let's uh let's do this what color are you you're the blue one. Oh, good grief we may have to change our pads at some point this is getting bad okay this is the dark brown again the walnut stain so i'm just giving it some nice dark contrast here i want it to really pop against this blue Oh, there. That's good. Right there's good, I think. Yep. Okay, we can do that. All right, and we're gluing. Oh, we got to screw, then glue, or unscrew, then glue. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, Lord, it's one of those days, let me tell you. All right, here we go. All right, and we're gluing. Hold your breath. Okay, and we trim. So we can see what on earth we've got and if we like it but we're being very gentle on ourselves because you never know until you're done as i look at my mistake here and, and didn't finish it to ignore ignore what i do <laughs> okay all right we're just darkening that up because we want a nice dark bottom okay so there we have some nice layers and i don't know if i really pulled that off as a lake but we can do a few fun things to uh, create some intrigue on this and first of all, I think I'm gonna just ink the edges a little bit to give the top some nice contrast all the way around. And this one I'm, I'm not gonna sew, so you can see a non-sewing one. And now I wanna take um, this, if you guys have never seen one of these, it's a Stabilo Aquarelle pencil. Basically, it's a uh, this is like a regular graphite pencil that dissolves in water, so you can kind of spread the color a little bit. And I saw Lori Marie Jenkins use these. She introduced me to these, and I've been in love with them ever since. And you can buy one, and it'll last you a long time. So basically, what you can do with this is you can emphasize uh, certain things. So we have our lake, which is supposed to be different than everything else. So I am just running a it's kind of like a thick pencil line, and then I'm going to take my very magic tool a q-tip only secondary to the finger tool squirting some water wetting the q-tip and then i'm just going to run along the line where that is and that's going to cause that to bleed and uh, it does wet your paper so be aware of that and you can kind of spread the ink a or the, the thing a little bit or just leave it as it is but it kind of gives you like a like a little bit of a definition there okay like something something it give you it gives you a little bit more depth depth that's what i'm trying to say okay there we go okay and uh you can also do that with this guy you can give him a little more depth it doesn't have to be a perfect line or straight line or anything but these these pencils are so much fun everybody should have one um okay i want now he's got more depth than him, so I'm gonna give this guy even more depth because you want the closer stuff to be even darker. Um, I lost all my water. Okay, that's all right, I'm just gonna, this is still kind of wet. Okay, all right. Okay, see how we have some, whoop, oh, you can't see anything. Okay, how oh, we got some contrast there? Nope, I'm gonna move you this way a little bit. Okay, those are my lovebirds in the background. That's what that is right now. A little more, a little more. 
Okay. All right, so we have that. And you can even go here to define your my pseudo lake my pseudo lake okay there we go all right now oh, I'm, I'm still not having it i need more darkness here okay so you can side rub it okay i just want this closer one to be a little darker than the upper one i don't know if i'm getting that okay Okay, there we go. All right, how's that? Okay, we got some depth and dimension going there. And um, what th makes things look like things, <laughs> if that makes any sense, is um, sometimes all you have to do is give it one little focal point. And then need a little glue down here, excuse me. Re-glue, okay. And you can do that by, you can add some foliage, you could add a sun, you could add some birds, you could do whatever you want. So let's, let's do some playing here. What do we got? I thought I tore something out earlier. Of course, it's, it's hiding from me. I'll find it. Okay, forget it. We'll just make something. How about that? Okay, so this one, I used a sticker from a cross. It's a cross, like an, it's actually an Easter sticker or something. And I ran around it with... a Faber-Castell pen in extra small, just to give it a little more definition because it was kind of close to those colors. But let's, just for fun, make, say a cross, I don't know why. Um, it's just easy to see against this background out of some book pages. Um, so let's get the tearing tool, tearing tool. Okay, and basically, uh, I feel all fumble, fumble fingers, fumble fingers today. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to cut some, I just need strips, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just get a couple strips going here. And we'll get one long strip and tear it in half. How about that? Okay. And there. Now oh, a little thinner. A little thinner would be better. All right. It's a very uh, rustic primitive cross, probably left by some old civilization many moons ago. Okay. So, here we go. There's my cross. All right, so let me glue this. Now, the easiest thing, this is just a little trick, and you probably all know this, but I'm just going to show those who don't, because I had to learn this one along the way. Um, when you have a smaller piece than your glue stick end, it's easier to take the smaller piece and run it across your glue stick end than it is to do it the other way around. And you might be chasing that piece of paper around for quite a while. Okay. Okay, here I am. Gluing. So covered in glue. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay. So you can have something like that. Now we got a little scene going. A little scene. Okay. This could maybe be out in the desert somewhere, an old um, pioneer town or something where there was a little, I don't know, cemetery or something. Um, now you can take this pen or you can take the Stabilo again and just run around the outside to give it a little more definition if you so choose not necessary but totally fun to do okay so we've done that and okay i'm going to put um, a couple birds in the sky okay that okay that was easy and you could do bird stamps or something like that and you could even do um now you could just leave it like that and you could um you could put a blank piece of page or something like that on the outside but I, what i thought i would do which might be fun is take just a piece of like a two-sided scrapbook paper and i'm going to use it as a mount and i'm just going to go around and cut this a little bit wider than the thing so i'll be right back hang on oh, where's my thing Okay, I'm back. So I just cut out that piece of card, uh, that designer paper, whatever, two-sided uh, scrapbook paper. And I'm going to place this on here. And now I have some decisions. Am I going to mount the whole thing down and just make a card that can be tucked in or glued onto a page? Or I'm, am I going to turn it into a little pocket? And I think right now I'm just going to turn it, I'm just going to keep it a card. We'll go with the journal card theme this time. There we go. We've glued. And we're trying for centerage. Always trying, trying. Never ending progress test here. Okay, so we have that. 
She's down, looking good. Now, because we already have colored paper on the back, we could totally leave it like this. You could also take a white piece of paper or a piece of writing paper or something like that and put that here. That actually looks kind of cool. Let me do that. Hang on. Okay, this is just a page of a, a, a children's book page of something, but I really like this little design. It seems to go well with the little desert theme thing we're going with here. Um, and I'm just going to maybe ink around a little bit and slap that down. And then there's some nice writing space because this is officially a journaling card, so I better give you some writing space, right? Okay, so there we go. There we go. We've got to play by the rules. No, we don't. No, we don't. Who said that? Nobody I know. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. Trying for the center. Trying. Okay, we're a little high. We're coming down. This glue gives you some repositional time, so it's a little, it's a little friendly that way, but not much. So kind of make your decision quick if you decide to use it. Um, okay, so there we go. And, you know, we could just ink around because we, we can, just to give it the edges a little, a little finale. Finale finesse. Yeah, there we go. Finale finesse. All right. Okay. So let's see our two dunsies and uh, little examples of what you can do and play with. So there you got two little um, mountain desert kind of scenes uh, using book pages and uh, turn them into little journaling cards. You could put a little prompt on the back of this one too. And um, there you go. So I hope this is, um, I hope you guys found this fun. Here comes the chant. Please like, subscribe, share, um, and um, I look forward so much to uh, doing more videos with you. I have so many ideas that are coming. I really, I have, I, I just like want to make a million, uh, um, but uh, I got to organize them and get them all figured out first. So, okay, um, I have one journal in the journal shop. I'm almost done this journal. So the one I'm working on right now, I'm just doing the finishing touches. So likelihood, it will probably... Um, um, it's going to be tomorrow or Monday, likely tomorrow. I say, I think I should be able to get it done. I don't know exactly what time or when, but I will, uh, you'll see the video and it will be posted into my Etsy store. Um, and what else? Um, oh, we have our 1000 subscriber contest running. So please uh, feel free to jump in on that. And the winner will be drawn on October 31st after midnight sometime in the morning after midnight sometime, but not that early. I get up later than that. <laughs> okay. Sometimes during, sometime during the day on that day and, um, not too late. I won't let it get too close to uh, Halloween time. I know everybody's busy, but, um, anyway, that's it. So everybody have an awesome day. Um, happy crafting, use up those book pages and, um, you know, that's it. Have a good time. Bye-bye.